Flame here, and welcome back to another death battle reaction video. Today we're reacting to Frieza versus Megatron, Dragon Ball versus Transformers, which is a weird compare not comparison comparison. We're two different franchises that kind of don't relate. I mean, Frieza and Megatron are kind of really they're both tyrants, so. It makes sense. Anyways, let's get it. Who am I rooting for, the though? I don't know. Dragon Ball. And Megatron, the Decepticon commander for I'm going to be biased. I'm going to go for Frieza because I don't know nothing about Transformers. All I know that Megatron is a Decepticon. And it's our job to analyze and something about the Allspark. And, and something that his biggest op is uh, Optimus Prime. And that's it. Deep in the battle all about, I know about space, Megatron and so stuff. Cruel, so callous, so evil that the universe <laughs> itself trembles at his approach. Frieza, Behold, the mighty Lord Frieza. Oh, he's mm -hmm. adorable with the horns and that floppy tail and the bald head. Genocide. Mm -hmm. Oh, awesome! And he's laughing. Cool. Frieza's diminutive stature and foe gentility. Well, we know that Frieza has the power to blow up in a surprising planets. Place. In response to the Japanese economic bubble at the time, Ooh. Frieza's design was meant to evoke real estate speculators. Since what? Mangaka Akira Toriyama has described such speculators as the worst sort of people. Oh, yes, lone really. land sh land say Frieza is more than meets the eye. Oh, wait, shit, that's later. Much mm -hmm. is unknown about Frieza's Oh, so his full Eric. name is really Only Lord Frieza. And his father were Frieza, Frieza, Refrigerator, over 75, two uh, Universal like Emperor, said, Immutant, Frost Demon, Grave Soda, Frieza Day, Frieza Yamcha, so <laughs> Frieza Day. Most Dragon Ball characters who transform to get stronger, Frieza transforms to get weaker. So he doesn't like accidentally nuke a planet. Whoa. Oh, be intentionally. With his father's empire and army at his beck and call, I did Frieza not know that. Across the universe, conquering worlds one by one and mm -hmm. selling them to the highest bidder, just like real estate speculators. And if anyone objected, he'd just kill them, their entire mm -hmm. family, and everyone they ever knew. And or just panic. like real estate speculators. Well, yeah. he lets his weird multicolored alien grunts do his dirty work for him. Frieza's not afraid to throw down himself, especially he if some spiky-haired space monkeys start getting too uppity for their own Monkey. Good. Frieza's strength comes from his innate spiky understanding hair. and manipulation of his own key hair. or life energy, which he can use to enhance his physicality or manifest yeah, into Yeah, he has the gumma gumma no attacks. tail. Like his classic death beam. Death bowl. Death wave. Death beam. Death cannon. Death saucers. Death yeah, everything. I'm sensitive theme here. Frieza can move mountains with his mind. No Fire strike. Laser beams from his eyes. Okay, lesser form, final form, Oh, okay. So are we gonna see? Are we gonna see Black alone. Frieza He's in this? Enough to keep mm. up with Goku's key attacks, which Sky Laser absorbed for a spirit bomb against Kid Buu could move across the universe in less than a minute. That would be Ooh. over 17 quadrillion times the speed of light. And That's he's gotten even stronger fast. and faster since then. You know you're a badass when you can stroll into Planet Vegeta, a planet filled with people whose only higher aspirations involve murder and hair gel, and talk shit like you own the place. Uh -huh. And he got so paranoid about one of them getting strong enough to kick his ass that he blew up the friggin' planet. Considering yeah. Planet Vegeta has Dominance. 10 times the gravity of Earth, this would mean it likely has 10 times the mass and 100 times the energy required to overcome its gravitational binding energy and Makes sense. destroy it. Makes sense. That's over 5.3 Yoda tons of TNT. And that Whoa. was in his weakest form. Too bad he kind of... Septillion is with a 7. Or several because a bunch of Saiyans survived to fight another day. Space genocide just ain't what it used to be. This would come back oh, to bite wait. him when he was finally forced to confront the Earthbound Saiyan Kakarot. Uh, is it? And I don't know. And accidentally ended up being the reason he turned into the legendary Super, Super Saiyan. Saiyan. Like the albino dildo he is, Frieza has survived being pounded by Broly is this for the over power an hour history? straight. Crushed by Goku's Who still bro is a soft for an hour, bro. He was game. Consumed by an exploding planet. Jumped by one man. In the vacuum of space. He can survive. Technically lift over one million. Majority of his body, though unlike other Dragon Ball villains, he, he can can't regenerate heal on yeah. his own. It didn't help him that much after he got his ass sent to hell. But because of that dragon in his balls, he was got back, back. It again. And with just four months worth of training, the first time he'd ever trained in his entire life, Frieza he was able to achieve a new gold. transformation capable of surpassing King the Super Saiyan, Golden Frieza. 
That's a level of laziness I aspire that to. Purple, with. though. DeviantArt Frieza here lets him keep up with Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta. A significantly weaker Super Saiyan God Goku could blow up the whole of Universe 7 in a punch clash with the God of Destruction, Beerus. Ooh, and the shockwaves of their punches were able to reach the edges of existence in only a few seconds. Over 270 quadrillion times the speed of light. And that is before mm. so many years of power-ups and training between then and now. Totally crazy, but nothing Cheeks. compared to his newest and greatest form. A Black Frieza. capable of surpassing Goku's ultra instinct and At Vegeta's ultra, ultra ego. ego. Their peaks at this point. A transformation mm. even stronger than gas who was wished to be the strongest in the universe. He literally said one punch him to the Dragon Balls. This is Black Frieza. The all-seeing Oracle Fish had prophesied the coming of the universe's strongest. And perhaps he was talking about Frieza all along. Yeah, remember correctly, it was ten prediction. years in a hyperbolic time chamber or oh. something like that? Wiz, I think you're gonna die. No, for some godforsaken reason, he didn't use his newfound power to kill those pesky Saiyans. They were right nah. there, you moron. In fact, he once committed the arch-villain's greatest sin and teamed up with them to save their universe and be yep. a being comparable to the gods of destruction. Because mm -hmm. no one's allowed to destroy the universe but him. And that's mm -hmm. a promise he means to keep. This almighty emperor will continue to rule the universe with an iron grip and a heart of ice. Huh, get it? Because it's a frost demon? All right. You either die Megatron. a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become, become a, a villain. villain. Or you live even longer and become an 80s toy commercial. This is Megatron. So Megatron was a good In guy at first? In ancient past, the planet was ruled by G1. the Functionist Religious Order. Which decreed a transformer's of Tarn, natural born 37, mode 38, determined their role 9 million years, in society, Cybertronian. than letting them choose for themselves. Born into this repressive caste system, Megatron of Tarn dreamed Prime. of something more. <laughs> so this giant Hasbro toy robot, only $5.99 at your nearest Rite Aid, wrote a manifesto on <laughs> peaceful descent that got popular with the oppressed Cybertronian working class. So much so, in fact, that the Senate tried to have him assassinated. Whoa! Ooh. Politics alert! After surviving that brush with death, Megatron was convinced that peace could never be an option. The only mm. path left to overthrow the crippling social order was violent revolution. So, were the Autobots originally the bad guys here? Optimus Prime? More like Optimus Crime. Never mm. say that Megatron wasn't committed. The civil war he started between the two groups lasted nine million fucking years. And again, remember, Toy robots. He was aided yep. in his war efforts by his immensely powerful fusion cannon, a giant laser bazooka that can hit targets from 12 miles away and level a small town in a single shot. These projectiles are so fast, they're able to That's exit a matter, the bus bus ground level right after only a single second. By scaling the distance of the Earth using Energon. the angle of this shot, the fusion cannon's projectile must be moving over 4,200 times the speed of sound. But I can't help me, but think of a photon cannon. Charge between shots, so Megatron's got some tools to keep the job going. He can close the distance with his Energon. Bro, I cannot stand the old cartoons. Shield. It helps I mean, makes literally the, the as Transformers, the, the old Transformers cartoons. Megatron can fire see, lasers like, from his ugh. eyes and arms, launch buzz saws strong enough to slice through solid rock, mm -hmm. fly through the air, and open up a force field known as a panic bubble. Now it might seem like a huge bubble. flaw that it lets enemy combatants inside, but that's only until you realize it won't let them back out again. That's Ooh. when the panic part comes in. Megatron's not trapped in there with you. You're trapped, You're trapped in, there in with him. him. Megatron's Cybertronian body is strong enough to match the Autobot leader Optimus Prime, who can toss around oil tankers weighing hundreds of thousands of tons. Damn! Megatron's metallic hide was tough enough to survive an explosion so Wait. massive it launched was the a, entire planet of was, Cybertron through never mind. space. I was gonna say, I was a robot in flying a flying to get its overall something made out of. The Megatron must have survived a robot. a blast Never mind. equal to nearly 4.5 million tons of TNT, enough to annihilate a small star. He can even keep up That's with the Septillion like Starscream, who can fly across the galaxy from Earth to Cybertron at hundreds of thousands of times right? the speed of light. And he wouldn't be a transformer with nine or ten. I mean, nine or seven. I gotta check. A tank, a stealth bomber jet, uh, and a gun. Just 
just a gun. <laughs> Walter B-38, in fact. I'm sorry, Wiz. I know he's this tragic revolutionary corrupted by the cycle of violence or whatever, but that is the funniest Except. shit I have ever seen. What does he have, like his deceptive buddies point him at people and fire? Sometimes. He can fire himself, too. <laughs> oh, my God. That looks even sillier. You may be laughing, but Megatron is Sept no Seven. Joke. Okay, I was right. By utilizing I was right the whole space time. bridge teleportation technology, so, yeah, more Megatron than can establish a remote link up to a nearby black hole and teleport the antimatter it produces to his location. Through his That's eyeball. crazy. Should matter and antimatter meet, they will be mutually annihilated. In a uh -huh. brilliant release of energy defined by E equals MC squared. Black holes. It doesn't holes. matter how durable the matter is, it will be destroyed at the subatomic level. As Megatron's war for control of Cybertron dragged on, all of his highfalutin ideals started to fall to the wayside. In essence, mm. the view Okay, that comment goes hard though. War. Now, war was the point. His only goal left was to rule Cybertron with a literal iron, iron fist. fist. That's where Megatron's greatest weapon came into play. His mind. The dude is a strategic and tactical genius who's yep. always thinking ten steps ahead. He's fought powerful Transformers like Grimlock, Predaking, and the Deceptigod, a being with the power of an entire De Deceptigod. He and Optimus have even fought Nova Prime and Regenesis Shockwave, both of whom could utilize the energy of that same universe. Megatron once sealed himself inside an Omni Globe and commanded a thousand oh, real life battles at once. Okay. Every iota of relevant information into his brain at the and same gone. time. The sheer deluge of data would be incomprehensible for anyone without that super. Oh, he looked brain. ugly. But all that robot ass kicking ended up as a draw, and the only true loser was Cybertron. With the planet true. in ruins and its civilization the in battle, the war, the Cybertronian Golden Age was long over, and the vanguard of its destruction was Megatron. Who's now a crusty Saturday morning cartoon villain with a voice that sounds like he smokes 40 packs a day and a hate boner for his bullheaded second in command, Starscream. Okay, never mind. Let's say Optimus Prime, Optimus Prime, not the second in command. Rival, Megatron's brilliant mind Starscream? finally turned inward. He remembered what? that his early writings advocated for peaceful conversion and free thought instead of domination. It mm. took you nine million years to remember why you started fighting in the first place. What did that memory Yeah, that's a yikes. Whoa, he, he just got launched. His most surprising tactical move yet. And with the Megatron saved the universe from annihilation Kazuma. as no, an robot. What? He realized that after millions of years of indefinite war, the ideals that he fought for, freedom, justice, equality, had switched sides, and Megatron Ooh. had to as well. Turns out there was more to this supervillain than met the eye, because true to his nature, more than Megatron meets the transformed. Ha, get it? Transform. All right, let's get ready. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death get battle. That up. I wonder, Boonstead keeps is like that's like an already recorded part, or they keep recording it over and over every time when there's a new one. I want to know 3D. Not gonna lie, I kind of wish the uh, Midoriya versus As Asta was I, in 3D. Claim this world as my own. Cheer for is this me is this the voice from uh, Team Four Star? Planet for eons. I would rather see it turn to ash than reside in your filthy hands, organic. Oh, star. I get it. Frieza <laughs> going to Cybertron. I love it when they monologue back. Death beam. So that's the death ball. Photon cannon. Push them back. And Frieza ate that. Pity. I'll have to construct a new mothership. I like it like nah, there's no two or three. We're going straight to final four. How tall was Megatron? Again, like 30 38 feet, right? Or something like that. Dino! And Freeze is like 5'2. That's almost six times. Death me! Death me! Death me! Ooh, sidestep, rush. Oh, 
Boom. Oh, he did the, the force field. Why won't you die? I can't go deep. Where did you go? Pause. Huh? That's a tank. Oh, that's what Megatron is. To be honest, I never knew what was Megatron's uh, vehicle form. Golden Frieza. Hit that pose. Yeah! Hit that! Hit that! <laughs> That's a big death ball. He just shoot himself towards it? That's crazy. Lift up. Oh, pincer attack! No black freezer needed? Doesn't this just always happen? Okay, no, there's still more. No, five minutes. I get that reference. Uh oh Behold the mighty Lord Freezer, ruler of a dying planet. Is it the Deceptagod? Where is your army? Where is your ship? So powerful, and yet you will wander the depths of space for eternity. All because of me! What a fool. despicable worm. I'll Black you Freezer. until your screams can be heard in the vacuum of space. Die a fool's death. I mean, Frieza can't regenerate, so. <laughs> there we go, Death Saucer! You will die by my hand! You fool! Cut in half! Yeah! Let's go! I'm on a roll with this. One minute and ten seconds, idiot. Megatron's ruthless resilience may have been in 19 episodes, but Frieza's overwhelming power gave him a clear edge. Megatron's ace in the hole was his antimatter, which would have annihilated Frieza's ass no matter how tough it was. And that was a real possibility. Megatron is a master tactician and manipulator with millions of years of <laughs> manipulator. Don't you mean the Frieza ultimate the instigator? Nice. relied on his raw power and intimidation to mm -hmm. win fights. That's when true. things don't go his way, he has a tendency to freak cry out. about However, it. However, Frieza has survived getting most of his body obliterated and kept going. Which, true. Which, if the antimatter wasn't a surefire win, it would have to completely cover Frieza's whole body before he could react. And Frieza was way too fast for that. While Megatron uh -huh. scaled the characters who could cross galaxies, Frieza has kept up with Goku, who should be at least trillions of times faster. And on his smaller mm. size and fields, Frieza had more than enough ways to avoid, defend, or survive the antimatter. So Megatron's only option was power. While Megatron has survived planet busting explosions, that's and like even 18 the zeros. That has the energy of a universe. I was too busy counting. I was like, was just too much for him. Vulnerable to antimatter. That's true. That was like his biggest trump card. Seven as a whole should be but, over 13 times larger than our own universe. Frieza's super forms would far exceed Megatron's own power. And that feat happened at the beginning of Dragon Ball Super. Goku has gotten league stronger since then. But if your trump card fails, Frieza is currently you're done for. beyond him. There was just no way Megatron was strong enough to keep up. Megatron was a devious foe, but Frieza's power, speed, and sheer <laughs> survival allowed treatment. him to crush the Decepticon leader underfoot. Mm -hmm. I guess you could say Megatron was cool. But Frieza is was cooler. Just cool. the winner ah, is Frieza. I thought we'd say just cooler.
I was about to say that. I was like, Thanks yeah. for watching. And hey, are you a Death Battle oh, member? Just, We've got a battle cool. going on cool. right now where members get to choose a matchup for the next What's season. What's the next battle? So next battle. Next battle. Discord. Next battle. Bakugan versus Beyblade. No, I'm just kidding. Is that... that yeah, okay, that is Dirty Kale. I was right. Gojo versus Mommy! What? Daddy versus Mommy. That's crazy. Oh, I get it. It's because it's Halloween. October 23rd, well, not technically Halloween, but like October 30, October is the ho month of Halloween. It makes sense because Gojo is the, the, the Shibuya arc is in Halloween and Makima, you know, demons and stuff has like the whole halloween -y spooky vibes. It makes sense. Makes sense, people. It does. <sighs> I, I, I like Gojo, Gojo's dad, daddy, but I gotta go with mommy. I gotta go. I don't care. She could do whatever she wants. Okay, I, I'll stop. <laughs> Anyways, I was right. Freezer for the win. How, do, uh, how does it feel to vote for a racist? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, there's a link to the original video down in the description below. Obviously, go watch yourself. Go like yourself. Support the death battle. And support me by liking and subscribing to me. See y'all in the next reaction. Bye-bye.